This three-piece suit is worn by Donald Sutherland, who plays President Snow. I wanted it to really resonate that, you know, there's this rebellion coming. He had to be much more powerful. He had to be much more buttoned up. This is Katniss, Katniss's gala dress. With this particular one, I wanted to kind of keep the idea of the girl on fire, so there's the really loose abstract flames that are embroidered in the bottom of the tool and on the top keeping always having this feather idea of her being the girl on fire and the mockingjay. The costumes you see here are the costumes that they wear towards the end of the film when Gatsby confronts Tom. I don't know whether Leo was that thrilled about the thought of having to wear a pink suit but I think it's an instrumental part of reflecting the intense romanticism that lives inside Gatsby's heart. This is worn the first time we see P.L. Travers uh, arriving in Los Angeles. A nice tweed suit and a nice overcoat, even though it's sunny Southern California. We wanted a real contrast. They're expecting a nice little old lady coming to town and instead they meet this formidable woman and we wanted her clothes to have that strength. And this is Walt Disney when he first meets P.L. Travers. It's a remake of a vintage 60s men's suit uh, fabric. These are um, two dresses worn by Amy Adams. Her character was fascinating because we see her in the film starting off as like a small time woman who comes to New York. She's full of dreams and she meets a person, the Christian Bale's character, who really opens up a whole new world to, to her. And so suddenly she has access to resources and the means to dress herself as the person she's always imagined herself to be. This is Oscar Isaac's um, outfit. You know, the corduroy, we found the fabric and then we had it made and then aged like crazy. And same thing with the trousers and even this, his sad, pathetic shoes which to me was a very important part of his character. And Roland Turner, sort of an African-American jazz musician trapped in a white man's body. I hope that when I work on a movie that the costumes help the director and the actors tell the story and they support their performances. What I tried to do was look at um, lots of social photography from the period. You have people dressing to be the people that they're aspiring to be. So uh, in a sense, you have characters playing characters. So you know, for a costume designer, all that sort of stuff is gold and we love wrapping our minds around that. Each of the individuals, each, they have a very specific role and a very specific part. And you want to tell that story through their clothing without drawing too much attention to itself. And I feel like that it was, that it was successful, that that part of the movie ha happens very organically. We're um, doing a small capsule collection with uh, Netta Forte through Lionsgate for Catching Fire and we've decided to take some of the pieces from the film and from different characters and interpret them to a ready-to-wear collection and this is one of the pieces that we've done that with.